Hi there, Anna Cortez back with some food for thought today. I'm not going to show you a spread, but I am going to address all you readers out there or people who like to receive readings. You know, I've been thinking about this topic for a while, and I've been fighting the perception of the fortune teller for as long as I've been a reader. And a very common um, sort of social stereotype about what it is that we do as readers. Um, and I like to think of history and the oracles in Delphi in Greece. They were a revered part of the culture and people from all status levels would travel long distances in order to see the oracles. And you would have to stay overnight there were prayers involved and fasting in preparation to be received by the oracle. And then once you saw the oracle, often the message you got was unintelligible. It was in riddles. And it was understood that these were utterings from the divine. And it was a gift. And so you'd have to go back home and think about what you got. It was not instant gratification. And it's so commonplace now for people to want a reading right away when they have something going on in their life. People contact me all the time and they want a reading that day or the next day, you know, which is really normal. I've done the same thing. And when I respond back that it's going to be two to three weeks without exception for their appointment, I don't hear back from most people. And I think this is part of the phenomena of our society and the way we perceive what we receive in a reading. Did you know that readings have the potential to be life transforming? And do you think of yourself that way as a reader? Do you realize that you have the power to do that for someone? And so these are questions I like to bring up I feel like this is part of my mission here as a reader is to help re-elevate this art to the potential that it has. Did you know that Dalai Lama travels with his own oracle? This is part of a long tradition in many of these societies that are composed of old souls. So these are questions I wanted to bring up food for thought. If you're a reader, I love to hear what your experiences have been and how you're working with these kind of issues. I love arguments, or whatever, different opinions. That's great. So Ana Cortez signing off for today. Ciao.